Okay, good afternoon. It was uh, it was good to get Savon back at practice today. Uh, we're still waiting on Jamel. It'll be um, you know a, a Saturday the decision. A lot of good work out there today. We didn't do any tackling. You know, I thought we needed to to have a day like that to get ready to go in the in this in the stadium on Saturday and really scrimmage. It'll be our game simulation scrimmage. Uh, something I'm looking forward to to remove the coaches from the field and really give the players the one true opportunity this spring to go out there and and play Rutgers football without the constraints of practice or without the, the help of the coaches on the practice field. Uh, questions? This will be a game like in any scrimmage we've done? It will be. The only decision we haven't made is are we going to put the coaches up in the box? And we may or may not do that. Uh, if we did that, we'd want to go on opposite sidelines, and I'm not sure we can uh, we can do that this Saturday. So we may have all the coaches down on the sideline, but other than that, it'll be it'll be pretty much game game situation. So is Quanzel okay? Uh, Quanzel, I think tweaked his hamstring, so hopefully he'll be ready to go Saturday. That's nothing uh, nothing I think too serious. Isaac Holmes. Isaac Holmes. We just had his uh, his wrist cleaned up, and we will probably hold him out. We could bring him back later this spring, but I don't think we'll do that. You know, getting Kenny back, I think, is the depth. I explain a lot of football here, and somebody we're going to rely on next year. I think, you know, we'll get him going. Maybe some footwork, those type of drills. But I don't think you're going to see him in any in any of the scrimmages from here on out. What free tech? How do you see the depth shaping up on Darius? I don't know if we'll be ready to answer that before training camp. I, mean, I think we're going to have to really see how uh, David Maluski comes back first and foremost, and, and how he fits into that equation. You know, where we think he can help us the most, and then let the dominoes fall from there a little bit. We've got some guys working there right now, whether it's Stevenson or Mera, then they've done a nice job. And we all know Milk can go down there and play at a high level. So we've got some options. I just, I'm not sure exactly where they're going to fit just yet and, and probably won't know until we get to training camp. I think Al doesn't have enough experience that we would want him to do that. Could he do it? Maybe. I don't think he, when you're going to move a guy back and forth, you're, I think you're better served doing it like with a guy like Valone, who's played a lot of football, who can who does both. A guy like a Mill, who can play two positions. I, th- I think those types of players have the experience to draw on to do that in a game, to, to do it with a younger guy who hasn't really played yet. I don't think that would be in anybody's best interest. Is that three tech a spot where a true freshman could come in and camp and maybe find some playing time early? I think any position is a position where a true freshman can come in, uh, but they have to do that themselves. They have to earn that job and they have to earn that spot. And you know, will we have that guy coming in this summer? I don't know that yet. You know, Darius Hamilton was able to do that last year for us and play at a high level and really be a major contributor on a very good defense. Uh, I'm optimistic we have that guy again, but I'm but I'm also optimistic we've got enough good players in the program that that particular player may not need to do it, but. As with anything else, it's not intramural, so the best players will play. Uh, has the defense adjusted to the Dave's install? I don't know that the install is much different this year than it's been in the past. I think they've gone at a pretty good pace. I think what's been different is is the offensive install. The way that the way that Ron has done it is is to put all the all the plays in for the week on Tuesday, and then rep them through the week. So that that's been a little different. Uh, I think the defense has done a good job with the installs. Like anything else, we've got some young players out there that are not only learning the defense, they're also learning how to practice at a high tempo all the time. You, you can't ever take those things for granted. Coach, how's the right side of the offensive line looked to you so far? I thought last Saturday was the, was the first time that we looked what looked like what I hope we would look like. This Saturday will be a, a bigger test for them. I think we'll know a little bit more after Saturday's scrimmage. Kind of okay. you had a, you had a presentation at the end of practice for... Uh, Okay, can you just talk a little bit about that and what it meant to the team? Sure. Major Robert Moshin, who's a, a Rutgers alum and, and was stationed over in the Middle East, they would where he was stationed, they would fly a flag every week when Rutgers won. They had a Rutgers flag that would go up the flagpole, and it was something that we found out about. They had taken a picture and, and sent it to us. And eventually they sent back an American flag from that base, which we carried out on the field last season. And I had an opportunity to speak with, with Rob on the phone while his wife was here doing the presentation last year. And I, and I said to him, I said, hopefully when you come home, you'll have an opportunity to come by practice. We'd love to meet you in person. And, and today he did that, and he brought his two sons, and, and his wife was with him, and, and we presented him with a picture of the, of the team coming out of the tunnel with his flag, and hopefully something that, that can be meaningful to him and, and he'll have in his house because he, he certainly did something for us in our country that, that we will never forget. Well, well Cal, how's uh, Federico uh, looking so far this spring? I think Kyle has done a nice job of really getting back into groove. 
one of the, the nice things about Kyle when he kicks the ball is he's got what's called early rise. His, his kicks get off the ground in a hurry, and that makes them much more difficult to block. I think Nick Borghese has a very similar effect on the ball, and I think he's done a good job this spring as well. It's been, that's been an excellent competition so far. That's time for two more. Kyle, how are Peel and Peoples doing so far in the punt returner situation? It's tough to say that because we haven't had any any live punts. Most of those punt catches happen in, in the specialist period, and I don't think we're going to do that live this spring. But with a new guy back there, you know, with Mason back there, you, you had a, an, an established player. With a, with a new player, you know, we may need to do some of that in preseason next year to really get an idea of, of who is going to be the best person back there because the first priority is obviously the catch because that gives you possession of the ball, and then you always want a good return as well. Uh, do you have a clear thought uh, starter at fullback yet? I would say Michael Michael Burton is our starter at fullback. Thank you.